going to be talking about some bindery equipment. Uh, this is our padding machine. Um, it jogs and pads and discharges the forms and it goes uh, on a rotisserie so that the operator can stand right here and keep feeding pads. And I'll show you how this works. We're going to insert the pad in here on the pad edge at the bottom. The clamp, when it moves around here, the clamp is on a cam and it's going to come in and clamp it and hold it tight. Then it's going to come over this glue drum and put a layer of glue onto the bottom of the pad. And as it goes around, you can keep feeding each one of these stations. And as it comes around, the clamp will open up and it'll discharge over there, come out on a conveyor, ready to stack and go to a cutter or go to the next step, next process. And here's this operation. And there's our finished product. A pad that's ready to cut down to size. We actually pad this two up. This is a two eight and a half inch form side by side. We pad them two up so it goes a little quicker. And then we'll send them over the cutter and cut it in half. And it'll be ready for packaging and go out the door. Our cutter. So here's the pads that we made. We're gonna cut several up at one time. We can uh, cut all different sizes. This is a programmable cutter so we can make multiple cuts and we can program them in and it'll step and repeat and make multiple cuts at one time and then the operator will stack them on ready for the next process. It's pretty simple. They'll load it in. Now make sure everything's nice and square. There are safety features involved so uh, it's a very safe machine. Anytime I break a beam right here, it will not let it cut so the whole body's got to be out. Very safe. I can step on the pedal, that puts a load on it, holds the form steady, two buttons, takes both hands, makes a cut. There's our eight and a half inch pads. Now these are ready to go on to the next step, probably be shrink wrapped, packaged, ready to go out the door. Next thing we're going to cover is our stapler, stapling equipment, and this is for making books. Right here we got uh, a collated form. This is a two-part form that we've already printed and collated. It's numbered, it's a numerical sequence, and we dropped it in the quantity that the customer asked for, for the quantity per book. We've already got chipboard in it, and it's already cut to size. So the next step is, we're going to build a cover for it. We take some plain stock, usually 125, 150 pound stock, and cut it to the size we need. This is a full wrap around book. So this has got to stay on the end and completely wrap around the book. So the girls or whoever's working in this area, they'll cut this to the size, the length, and the width they need. They'll bring it over to this piece of equipment and they'll run it through and it'll score it and it'll put some fold marks in it. And that way it folds easy and nice and crisp because a nice finished edge for the book. After they've done that, after they've got the cover score, they're gonna go back to their book, they'll take the cover, and they'll assemble it, and then they'll run it through a stitcher. Now this only puts in one stitch at a time. That's why we've got these blocks. They'll put it all the way on this block, staple it. Put it on this block, staple it. And then you have the finished product. A nice finished book, full spline. This particular book has a wraparound cover so the customer can protect the forms. It also works as a, a preventive write through. So they can go one form at a time, slip that cover in, fill out this form, and it does not transfer to the next image. 
so that, that helps them protect the forms that they're using. Then they can tear the copies out and disperse them to their customers, whatever. Quite often, one of the parts we will not perforate and it'll stay in the book to create a, a ledger. So they'll take out the customer copy or, and whatever copies, file copies they have to distribute. And one copy, it might be for the accounting department or everything, will stay in the book. And when the book is done, that last part is all in the book and they can hand it to their accounting people or whoever they need to for all their record keeping. It's a good system and it's real popular. We do a lot of books. Another piece of equipment in our binder department is our drill press. This uh, drills multiple holes. We can uh, set a variety of combination of holes. Um, the special thing about this is when we punch on the printing presses, those are designated sizes. We can only do standard sizes on the press. So if a customer wants a custom punch, custom size hole, or multiple holes that our presses won't do, we have to do it offline. Basically, all each one of these is a drill. And we can set them up, it's on a scale, and we can put them just about anywhere we want. We can put them and change the depth in this block, we can move that back and forth, and we can move the punch to side to side. So we can do a variety of combinations. This is a similar job of what we do over here. I cannot do these on the printing press because of the way this form is produced. So we print this form, and then we bring it over here, and we drill those five holes all at one time our folders and on this piece of equipment we can do uh, a multiple folds we can do a bifold we can do a trifold and on that trifold we can do a C fold and a Z fold so we got some uh, capabilities of changing this machine over to do multiple applications um, after it sets up it runs pretty good um, but it's pretty quick so keep your eye on it Here's the form we started with, and we sent it through when we did one single fold. Now we've got a product that the customer can use where they can put it in a binder and it's folded in half, but they have access to it. It's folded nice and crisp, and it's in the layout that they want in the direction they want. Like I said, we can do multiple folds, so this machine is very versatile.